this? If you ask for help, I see that you're stronger than what you are when you're not asking for help. Take responsibility. I had a girl in eighth grade ask me this. She'd been raped over the summer. And afterwards, she wanted to talk to me because she was angry. She was angry because she thought that I was telling her that her being raped is her fault. It wasn't her fault. But what I mean by your responsibility, how do you now pick yourself up? How do you now move forward? Do you have the courage to ask for help? Do not, as a teenager, base your decisions based on 15 years or 16 or 17 when you've got 70 plus years ahead of you. Your past does not mean this is your future. We got a 15 hour day. Southeast Ohio, Morgan County. How the heck in this day and age can you be somewhere and you don't have any school buses, school buses, school buses? There's a lot going on here at Morgan County. Got here at 7 o'clock in the morning. Meet and greet with administration counselors and some of the community people that brought me in. A couple years ago there was a bad car accident in which two teens were killed. And then last year we had two juniors. One took his life. Another young lady, she took her life. And so those kids are now seniors. My friends, it's going to be okay. Kids were amazing. So now here I am doing the uh, one-on-ones mentoring with kids and there's a list of kids that are signing up to come talk. And so it's getting to the point where if I don't talk about it, it's kind of getting really bad now. Build up, build up, build up, explode. Yeah. And so you're recognizing that talking about your thoughts and feelings is more healthy? Yeah, very. It's good. It's good, we're hearing a lot. How old are you? I am 15. It's pretty awesome to start recognizing. Like the hallways are real clean, the floors look awesome. It's a beautiful looking school. Hit them straight today, my friend. Oh God. Good <laughs> Three of your beautiful students, I'm not gonna mention who they are, came into the office and said that we wanna talk about and I think I'm just going to say that because I don't want to get in trouble with the girls. Girls! We No, we need more free time for studying. Yeah. Are they trying to drop my class? We would not. <laughs> we love you. What they can't even look at. No. And I was like, who's the hardest person to get to know? Because I've learned to replace expectations with appreciation. But let me ask you this. When an expectation is not met, that leaves you feeling what? Yes, sad, at a loss, disappointed. And when we feel disappointed, that could lead to sadness, that could lead to feelings of despair, that could lead to feelings of wanting attention and acting out. That can lead to social isolation. That can lead to I'm not worthy, I'm alone, I'm a burden. And all of that can lead to self-harm. Self-harm could ultimately lead to self-medicating. I'll tell you what is a recipe for disaster. If you're in therapy and you're not being honest and you're on medication prescribed by a professional doctor and then you're self-medicating. It's the worst thing you can do. Self-medicating could then lead to maybe suicide. And I've learned to appreciate the now because if you can't appreciate now, you'll never be grateful, thankful for what then can be all about. This is nine months later. One of the kids said something that doing okay all day long, but then at night when you go to bed and you're alone, and you have these nightmares and these thoughts of how it happened. Can't ignore the pain and the emotions that our kids are feeling, that they're thinking, thoughts that they're having, that it's okay to sometimes to not be okay. 
and to want to communicate and talk because when we communicate and we talk, we're able to grow. Look at these beautiful young ladies walking down the hall. Keep smiling. Teachers, get down the auditorium. Don't be late. What the heck is going on here? A lot of noise backstage. Oh! <laughs> All right, so one of the things that we're doing is I'm gonna take the principal and the counselor. So this right here, so now I'm gonna run out and watch the kids. Kids think that's really cool. Like, what, the, this dude's coming out to watch us? I think that's part of just making an investment in who they are and letting them know that as trusted adults, uh, we care about them and we wanna support them. So one of the suicides last year, um, she was a senior, and one of the girls I got to connect with today, she was gonna give up marching band, but she stays with it, and one of the things that's helping her deal with the loss of Ashley is she thinks Ashley's kind of looking down on her, and she's proud of her because Ashley was a senior that took her under her wing. So, uh, kind of proud to come out here and support them. We need to put more emphasis on kids getting more involved in their school community. Love of football players pushing in this heat. Good job. Good job, fellas. Oh. Get ready for the power program, man. Ah, oh, the air conditioning is back on. Uh, I love that. I love that. It makes a kid feel special. I want it on every locker. I want every kid to feel like they belong, that they're part of this Raider Nation. I want every kid to go check out the girls' volleyball. Nice. Beautiful looking school. Whoa! Yo, that was like an ace! That was good, right? Practice. It wasn't. Practice! It's where championships are won. Practice! I wonder if the kids appreciate how beautiful their gym is. Nice looking gym, Morgan County. Go Raiders. I like this, this comes from uh, Ohio Department of Public Safety. First time I've ever seen something like this in a high school. My life is more important than your text. I like that. Why do you everybody here? Let's go! No matter what you're going through, you have trusted adults in this building that care about you. Young people don't ever be afraid to ask for help. You can't really know what happiness is until you learn to go through sadness. It's like you can't learn to appreciate victories until you learn to appreciate losses. You can't really learn to appreciate love until you've dealt with rejection. My thoughts and prayers to the families, not just of Caleb and Ashley, but the families of the two kids that were killed in the car accident. My prayers and thoughts to the whole community. We have to be able to put last year behind us. We have to move forward, and we move forward together. Everybody has to open their heart and want what's best for our kids. I want to see the staff continue to grow as a family and support our kids and support our community and our community be able to support us. Thank you for speaking with us here. It's very inspirational and it will help you get through whatever it is, whatever hardship or anything. I had a great day with you guys today. To the parent program, the first person there tonight, Ashley's dad. It's pretty awesome to meet him. You know who the last person to leave was tonight? Ashley's dad. I want to thank all the students. You guys were awesome. I want to thank all the teachers. You guys were amazing. I want to thank the administration and the community. I want to thank the parents. Thank you for letting me be a part of your community and the lives of your kids. 
And I want to leave you with this. The success of any school is the relationship between the staff and the teachers and the kids. But I think also what's really important is the relationship between the community and the school. And I think what's important is parents, we focus on doing the best job we can at home. And teachers, we focus on doing the best job we can in school. And when parents can support the school and the teachers can support the parents, that's what togetherness and community is all about. We can't relive the past. Remember, I've said it a number of times, you're not a victim. I want you to be a victor. Let's not be bitter and angry. Let's choose to become better. Let's pick ourselves up every day and remember, we're Raider Nation. We're Raider Pride. And the success of our year is going to be dependent on the people that choose to make it successful. And young people understand this, if one of your friends is hurting and you know that the right thing to do is to say something, but you're conflicted because if you say something, you're going against the trust of your friend. Do the difficult right over the easy wrong. Because I'll tell you, you're not going against the trust of your friend. You're making a decision that is benefiting your friend. And that's the responsible thing to do. Yeah. Thanks for letting me be a part of your life, my friends. Good luck, my friends. Don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul. I'll